late for my hair appointment. I gotta go, dog. She made me late. I'm never gonna make it in time. I got like two minutes to get there, man. She's gonna get somebody else, and I'm gonna twist it, literally. The bank up. Let's get to that. Appointment. Get out of that potty stool. Get out of your potty stool. You better get out the potty stool. Yeah, that's the poo poo. Yes, Dad. That's the poo poo in there. Oh, okay. So I just washed my hair. Yeah. I'm going to get my hair done today. Yay! I will keep you guys posted. Let me get ready because I am running late. Good morning. Can we do 9 45 or running late? Yes, because I'm running late too, girl. Yes. Of course. This worked out perfectly because I was running late. I didn't know how I was gonna do it. I was planning to be out of here at 9.45. It is 8.57. It's 8.57. It takes us 40 minutes to get to where I get my hair done at. So I think this worked out fine if we leave now, okay? So I'll keep you guys posted. Let's roll. Girl, you look fresh, girl. You look fresh, girl. You find it. Freshness. Let's roll. I brought the blow dryer to blow dry my hair in here and it is not working. I thought I can plug it right here. I was trying to be ready, so all she had to do is just braid my hair up, but it didn't work. So say hi Taya. We see the tamale place right here. We're gonna come back and get some tamales. I ain't seen this since I moved from California. I just got here finally, so I'm about to go in. Bye, guys. Bye. Da, 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 da. We'll get hooked up. Only person missing here is Devin, but um, I'm about to go in here, so. Bring me back some tamales. So this my girl, she do my hair. She's licensed and everything, but you know, because of the corona, she's doing hair here at her home. I can't wait till you bring those tamales back though. Hi. 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 So yeah, this is Kanisha. Hi. If you're here in Vegas, make sure you come check her out. She is so bomb at doing wigs and hair. And she also sells wigs and hair. So if you're here in Vegas, make sure you check her out. She is amazing. You guys will see once my hair is done. And all the hairstyles that I always have, she all, that's who does my hair. So I've been coming to her for how long now? Like maybe two and a half, three years? Almost, maybe almost three years, if not three years. It's been a while, so that says a lot. She's amazing, so so such a good heart and everything. I tried to blow dry my hair before I got here, but my blow dryer didn't work in the car. Also guys, this side of my hair was really, really damaged, and Kanisha cut my hair, and it looks like it's growing back. I'm so happy that it's growing back, because you know, it was pretty damaged. So like I was saying, Kanisha, I'm just kind of speechless because I remember when I first started coming to you, like how we were talking and stuff. Mm -hmm. And honestly, I just feel like you really manifested your situation and your marriage and you know, different things like that. Do you, you remember, right? Yeah, I, mean, I kind of remember. And I think you were like, you were gonna write some things down. Did you ever write those things down? No, I didn't write it down, but I used to pray every single day for like the type of guy that I wanted and Five years later, he finally came. <laughs> And I mean, like, I don't know, on the outside looking in, it just seems like so perfect. And that's what I mean. That's what I mean. I remember you were saying like, you were gonna, I thought you said you were gonna write the things down that you were looking right. for in a man, or either I told oh, I you I maybe did. to write down exactly what it is you want, you know? And it's just crazy. Like you said, five years later, you got that plus more, you know what I mean? Right, right, no, you're right. And I'm so very happy for you. And that's, that's exactly the way it works. 
Like guys, when you wanna manifest something, it's not even that difficult. It's like, just know what you want. Write it down, speak it, feel it, and then let it go. Did you do well on it much? I let it go. I, I just, kept saying, I kept saying, if it's in your will, God, if it's in your will, let it happen. Let me have a man that's a king, financially secure, who's gonna be the king of the castle, who's gonna, who I'm gonna respect, and who's gonna respect me back. I got every little thing I asked for. That is so amazing. Like, I'm so happy for her. Mm -hmm. I'm just like all smiles and so, so happy for her. Guys, it's just as simple as that, you know? Just know what you want, pray on it, and you're good. Mm -hmm. You like to braid it going down? It don't matter to me however you want to braid it because it's covered up anyway. You know, I just want my hair to grow back and, you know, just be it healthy. It's really thick. I have thick hair, but, you know, it got damaged mm -hmm. recently. So I'm happy that it's growing back. You had cut my ends. I don't know if you remember. Yeah, I remember. And so I think that really helped a lot because you cut a lot of that dead part off. Yeah, it, yeah, that really helped. Even with Danica hair, when we were at the other house, mm -hmm. that water, I don't know what, we put, we had a water softener, but it was still just dry in her hair out. So her hair, it's almost down on her back already, already again. You know, wow. But, they just brought the tamales back, you guys. Right. Under the phone. They provided for me or whatever is loose now and then i had got one in miami from pretty girl curves i think it's called and that one is loose now so i need another one i feel like i'm not supporting my stomach the way i need to support it right but i'm hesitant like where do i really get it from and i know there's this place called tabula or something like uh -huh. in, in colombia but it takes them six weeks to send it to you because they like custom do it for you right and I don't mind that because I would be kind of in a stage three. Well, going is, by the time they get here, I'll definitely be at a stage three, right? Uh -huh. Which is like really, really supportive. Like, I guess they have rods and stuff. It's like a waist trainer inside of the fala. But I need something now. Even if right. I order that, I need something now. And that's where I don't know. I don't know which place or where I should order it I from. I my sister for she had her. Because she had her surgery September 18, I think. She had it right when I had mine then. I had mine September 16. Oh, okay. So I'm like barely six weeks post-op. Yeah, I know she went through a couple of those, but I know the doctor provided because he went to Dr. Kurt Sandy. He was a little a lot higher than most. Was he out here? Yeah, he out here. He called VIP surgery. He actually uh -huh. did my nose job. I didn't know he had a nose job. Yeah, shot. I had a nose job. He's really good, but he's kind of expensive, but he do, he said that he go further than. Because he was looking at doctors in Columbia because he was real picky. Mm -hmm. He was going to Miami. It's just like he, he was going to this one particular doctor and found out he wasn't there no more after she paid her deposit. Mm -hmm. He's like, oh no, I wanted this doctor. So then he finally went with Kersandi, and he went real, like he took everything off. He didn't even leave no room for anything. I wonder if he does tummy tucks. He probably do, and he do free consultation. Really? Because the doctors out here was charging like fifty dollars. They was charging like fifty, a hundred and fifty, you know, for consultation. But he only do virtual consultation. Then after your virtual consultation, oh. cause he do one fifty for in person. Okay. But after you do your virtual, he, he don't charge anything for the you to come in and get it done. Okay, yeah, because I know most doctors out here are charging like at least 50 to 150 for consultations. Yeah. When you go to these places that you pay half the money, they kind of, they, they don't kind of, but they run their places like clinics. Mm. You know, versus when you get it done out here or something like that, right. it's like more of a hospital setting. Like they treat you so much better. Like they don't just, you have surgery and then an hour later they're rolling you out. Right. You know, so it's so much I learned in regards um, to it that I don't know because they don't talk about those things, right. you know, um, and also the fact that a lot of these doctors and these 
places, I call them clinics now, mm -hmm. they don't even talk about the fact that some of these girls, even like myself, I woke up and had no pain medication in my system. So I felt every little thing, everything they did to my body while I was sleeping, I felt it. I felt like somebody had took a machete and just chopped, just sliced me all up in the front of my stomach. And I was in so much pain. I cried like a baby. Okay guys, so I'm all done and my hair is done and I am loving it, I am loving it. So now I'm gonna let Kanika tell you guys exactly where you can find her and give you her website and everything. Okay, it's www.vegaslacewigs.com or you can find me on Instagram at vegaslacewigs. Alright, well thank you, Kanika. Okay, you're welcome. You have a great day. You too. It's always a pleasure and I'll see you next time. Oh, definitely. So yes guys, I am leaving. I didn't have to um, pull my curls out or anything. I just want them to fall on it on its own. But um, I guess it's on to my husband that's gonna get his hair done today as well. Late for my hair appointment. I gotta go, dog. She made me late. I'm never gonna make it in time. I got like two minutes to get there, man. She's gonna get somebody else and I'm gonna twist it, literally. The bank of Let's get that. It is halfway there. We almost there, let's go. We there, y'all. There it is. There it is. We made it, y'all. It's the lobby area. Hopefully, I'm not too late. 303. What's up, y'all, man? It's the Den fam. You already know what it is. I'm in the spot with the best hairdresser in the back. There she be over there, look. Say hi. That's right, Toya, man. You know, I always come to her because she do me right. You know what I'm saying? It's like a crazy day for me because I've been whipping in everywhere, you know? So, but I finally got here and we're going to get it in, you know, get a little twist or whatever. Let y'all see how she do it. Let's get involved and we're going to check y'all in a bit right on. We talked about curry before, huh? <laughs> you remember that? Yeah, said it was right. It's not right. Right. I thought it was just right. I'm used to like the Indians doing their thing. What's up, Small? How you doing? You, you still barbecue, man? Absolutely. Man, I would, you got a card or something like that? I, I'm, I'm kind of full too, because I've been eating all day. She just told me you sell a plate, so. You got somewhere I can find you, because I'll be, I be on trying to hunt for barbecue. I'm on Yelp. You on Yelp? Work, yeah, I'm having more cards. You say your name on my blog? Holy I just, yeah. smoke barbecue. Oh, that's you. That's you. Not rolling smoke. Holy smoke, like a, 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 like a top. That's right. Right on, brother. Like I'm Holy good, smoke I'm barbecue. Good. Okay, cool. You good, right. pretty woman? I am, thank you so much. Yeah, I check that out. I'll be looking for me some barbecue all the time. Is it good? Very good. Okay, okay. Yeah, we've been from him for years. Okay. How your husband doing, man? Everybody's good, you know. The family's good. Right. I've had a lot of friends lost their uh, parents. Wow, really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's good. Yeah. 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 Oh, that you know, because you were saying you knew some people, right? Yeah, like friends, but not like family members. Right. Like friends of mine have lost parents to COVID. Wow, that's crazy. It's unfortunate. Very rough, very rough. Yeah. Now I have somebody that said they had it, mm -hmm. or somebody knew somebody that said they had it. I never personally don't know nobody, though. Yeah. You know what I mean? I personally knew him. He was my father's good friend. Yeah. Yep, and it's still going around too. They talking about it still, you know, doing this thing. You know, the whole COVID. Yeah, it's supposed to be a second round. That's what I'm hearing. What if it, what if it all stopped after, ele after the election? <laughs> <laughs> that would be good. Wouldn't that be something? Then we'll all know what's really going on. What time it is, right? Yeah. yeah I agree. That's funny. Yeah, well. Because he's had the fastest case of COVID that I've ever seen. Man, look, you have Tom Tom off. He went in and was like, okay, we good. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. And they say he was in the hospital, but we didn't see that. I mean, because you remember that one guy from the UK, Boris? Mm -hmm. He they, he they showed him all up in the hospital. Mm -hmm. We didn't we didn't never mm -hmm. see Trump in there. We don't really know if he was admitted or not. Right. We ain't got no proof, none. And then, you know, he running a lot of ads now. I just and see- And that was also free publicity because they kept talking about him. Yeah. Relevant to the COVID. So. Yeah, exactly, exactly. You voting this year? I already voted. Did you? I voted last week early voting because okay. I don't want to be in the chaos of the long line. Oh, yeah. So, you know, early voting is good because then you can go to any location. Right, of course. Yeah, that's true. Remember the movie I told you about when I was here last time? Mm -hmm. The Distinguished Gentleman, Eddie Murphy. Mm -hmm. I think so, yeah. Remember I was saying how he showed how politics work in the White House? Got yeah. heat him and I think you said you saw it before though. I saw a little bit. I didn't see the whole thing. Okay. I, I haven't seen the whole thing of that. So, but yeah, it don't seem to us like they're 
it's kind of like you know sometimes like boxing right they when they meet up to do the weigh-in they kind of square off but right. sometimes they're like end up being friends out there of course, right, and that's the politics of it, right? You know, that's gonna be a crazy day. You think they're gonna, there's gonna be a lot of people like acting crazy that day? I don't know, but I don't be out there. Well, I know that's right. That's what I tell you. I'm scared. What I do, man? This how I should walk around, huh? What if I just walked around like this? You think that'd be cool? I don't know. I know, I'll be seeing brothers just like this walking around. Not me, I'm too old for that. But yeah, guys, we you know we in the dryer, man. Just getting our hair dried off. I'm almost done, it's been a while. I don't really like the dryer because it kind of make my, I mean, it's kind of hot, you know what I'm saying? Who likes being in the dryer? But anyway, I'm almost done, man. We're going to meet up with the wife. We're going to reveal our fresh look, you know what I'm saying? And maybe even do some videos for you. Listen, don't get it up twisted and confused you are in the den man they all waiting for me outside matter of fact man all the kids and everything so yeah stay posted man i'm gonna check back with y'all when i'm about to dry her and ready to fly let's go is it growing it's a lot. really i can't tell <laughs> that's cool i just be worrying about me getting old you know what i'm saying and my <laughs> my and my hair falling out you know what I'm... no not at all falling out. oh okay what i always feel like i'm it's going is i feel like my hairline going back and it's thinning at the no. top no, you don't, I don't think you do your hair often enough for it to thin. Okay. And I don't do it tight enough. Some people do it too tight and it pulls. And it pulls, yeah. Yeah. No, I like the way you do it. I'm, I yeah. love it. You don't want to, you don't want to do that. Yeah, I like it just like you be whipping it up. I know I need to be coming a little bit more often because I'll be having a big old gap periods, but I'll be so busy. I just, you know, but this is a long period of time. I went for a long time. Yeah, I know. Can't do that no more. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Came back here. You know, you know, we moved, so. Oh, you did? Yeah. Right. We moved up towards Summerlin. So we was in Rose Ranch before all that moving and we still ain't really got everything unpacked. It's like everything, you know, it's like we've been there a minute and still got boxes, you know. There's two things I hate the most. Dislike, I should say. I don't like hate. It's moving and hanging up and folding clothes. That's just my, I, I just can't stand that, man. You know, I'm cool with everything else. Yeah, now we looking fresh and debonair. Smooth. Look at the back of there, man. Y'all already know what it is. Don't get it twisted, messed up, or confused. <laughs> Toya just did the magic, right? Yeah. Look me up on here by Latoya underscore. Yes, underscore. We keeping it safe with the mask. Gotta keep it safe with the mask, <laughs> man. That's how we do it. Listen, elections times coming up. Everybody gotta be fresh and be ready. You know what I'm saying? Because we don't even know what's coming, but it's That's coming. That's right. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, just we gotta be ready, so you don't gotta get ready. <laughs> Stay ready. That's right. Stay man. ready. You ain't lying, <laughs> man. Listen, we appreciate you. I'm gonna get out of here, talk business. Y'all already know what it is. We mess with confused. We'll see y'all in a second, man. Yes. Yes. We ready to go, man. We've been ran through the machines and repackaged. Yes. We got everything tightened up. You are in a den. Don't get it up, twisted, or confused. Make sure you subscribe if you are new to the channel. Comment down below and all the above. How do you feel about your hairdo? Oh, I'm loving my hairdo. I'm loving the fact that my hair is all freshly washed and clean mm. and braided and done. Yes. Yeah, so you like your hair, look all fresh and whipped up. That's cool, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I like my shit too, man, you know what I'm saying? My dresser, you know, she do her thing and, you know, it's all good, man. I'm a matter of fact, I'm gonna leave a description below. If y'all in Vegas or whatever, you wanna get your hair retwisted, make sure you check her out, cause she's the business. Make sure you check my girl out, cause she's the business. Right on, man. So, we got some dressers that are the business in Vegas, the best ever. We'll put the description down below. Don't get it twisted, f***ed up or confused. You are in the den. And this... It's the truth. We will see you on the next one.